Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and it's springtime, so we're going to do a pastel colored eye look. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin, and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lipstick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So springtime is here and it's time to bust out the pastel palettes that you guys have been stashing for like a year or hiding for a year, just collecting dust. <laughs> anyway, so springtime pastel colors are out from clothing to eye makeup and all that. And I know a lot of you guys don't favor pastel because it's not bright. <laughs> and that's the nature of pastel colors is that it's supposed to be soft washed soft colors you know and I get a lot of inquiries as to how can you get better color payoff from pastel you can't <laughs> it's nature of pastel that's why they're called pastels you know otherwise they'll be called brights which are available that everybody uses all year round so uh, springtime uh, pastels are a little bit more popular so today we're going to use some pastel colors. I'm just going to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can make your pastel really pop, okay? Not exactly make it bright looking or get, you know, a lot of color payoff, but how to complement it so that you can really, you know, notice it and stands out. So first thing we're going to do in this eye look is that we're going to prime as always, but this time I'm not going to do the usual primer. I'm actually going to use these Taiwanese color sticks. These are eyeshadows and lip colors in a stick form. And the three colors I'm using are pastel colors. And I got these from prettyandcute.com. And the first color I'm going to use is this pastel green right here. This is number 13. Okay. From prettyandcute.com. Taiwanese color sticks. And I'm going to apply this to the inner corner, working it outwards about halfway out covering the main lid. And then using my bullet brush, much like this one from Glamcore, I'm just going to make sure that, that color is distributed evenly throughout the area where I want it to be. The next color I'm going to use to prime the lid is this purple color. Once again, this is the uh, Taiwanese color sticks from prettyandcute.com. And this is number four in purple. And I'm going to apply this to the remaining half of the lid. And then once again, going back to my bullet brush, I'm just going to make sure to smooth and even that out. Then the third color stick I'm going to be using is this uh, pastel pink. And I'm going to apply this to the deeper crease. And I'm going to blend this upwards towards the base of the brow bone. And once again, using the bullet brush, I'm just going to make sure that's smoothed out and uh, evenly distributed to the areas where I want it to be. Okay, and now I'm ready to use my color palette. And this is my pastel multicolor palette. And I'm going to use this uh, spring green right here. And I'm going to put that on top of the green color stick. So starting from the inner corner, working outwards about halfway. And then using this lilac color right here, which is a beautiful pastel lilac color, I'm going to add this to the middle part, okay, just in the center eye, and making sure that that covers just the middle part of the lid. The next color I'm going to be using is this pastel purple right here, and it's very, very spring color, and I'm going to add this to the outer corner and also to the uh, outer crease. The next color I'm going to be using is the champagne color right here. It's kind of like a taupey champagne. And I'm going to add this to the base of the brow bone. And I'm just going to make sure that that transitions up and outwards towards the brow. And then I'm going to use this very, very pale mint green right here. And I'm going to apply this to the inner corner, almost close to the tear duct and then blend it up towards the inner crease as well as the base of the brow bone in the uh, inner corner. 
Next, using a smudger brush and this pastel ochre color right here, I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line, starting from the inner corner around the tear duct and uh, working it out about one third of the way out. And then for the remainder of the lower liner, I'm going to use this pastel blue right here using the same smudger brush and I'm just going to fill the remainder all the way to the outer corner. Next, we're ready to sculpt and shape the brows. And for this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to use my matte brown eyeshadow. This is Espresso from MAC and also my angled brush. And I'm just going to fill, shape, and sculpt the brows as needed. And then to seal the powder in place and also to groom the brow hair, so I'm just going to use my model in a bottle, long lasting eyebrow sealer. And to apply this, you simply just brush it towards the direction of the brow hairs. Now I'm ready to highlight the brow bone. I'm going to use this eggshell color right here and I'm just going to apply that right in the base of the brows and working it downwards towards the brow bone making sure that it connects with the taupey champagne color. Next we're ready to line and for my eyeliner I'm just going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil and this is the purple color and it's the purple velvet and I'm going to use my angled brush and I'm actually going to pick up the color from the pencil as opposed to lining it. So just pick up the color using the brush and then apply the liner with the uh, brush. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green. And once again, using my angled brush, I'm going to pick up the color from the pencil. And then I'm going to push this right into the hairline so that it gets into uh, between the lashes. Okay, every time we use pencils, gels, or creams, we always said it would powder. So for the purple liner, I'm going to go back to my purple color right here. And I'm going to set the uh, upper liner using the angled brush. Just making sure to dab it on first and then clean the edges of the liner. And then we're also going to set the green in the uh, lower lash line. And for that, I'm going to use this green color right here. And I'm just going to, once again, apply that on top of the uh, pencil color. Now, because we used a lot of pastel colors, we're going to add a little drama to this eye look. And to do that, I'm just going to use my Cole pencil, and this is from Maron. And I'm just going to apply this to the lower water line. And then blink a couple of times, two or three, to three times, really, really hard so that it transfers to the upper waterline. And then reapply the cold pencil right into the lower waterline. Next, we're ready to curl the lashes. Now, after curling your lashes, top it off with a mascara. This is a black mascara, and I'm using Krylon Mascara. And I'm just going to apply this to the upper and lower lashes. I'm probably going to do two to three coats just for added drama. And the more coats you apply, the more dramatic it gets. Then finally, using my blender brush, I'm just going to make sure that the taupey champagne color transitions beautifully to the brow bone highlighter. And that pretty much completes this look. And there you have it. So now you can wear pastel colors this spring. And again, my tip and my trick is to put two colors, like pastel colors, but choose a lighter shade and a darker shade, pastel colors, 
put them right next to each other and it's going to complement each other and make each other stand out. So in this look, I put the mint green right next to the spring green and then I put the lilac right next to the pastel purple and it just complements the whole look and make it all pop out. So hopefully this is something that you try to wear this spring and it's going to be fun and colorful and pastel-y. So thanks for joining me. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.